Hello everyone, today we're going to be making King Cobra's dank uh, snow crab legs. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need distilled water. You're going to need the snow crab legs, obviously. You're going to need some uh, great value, so Walmart brands. Sweet cream butter, salted. You're going to need some of that real lemon juice. You're going to need Bud Light Platinum. You're going to need two of these. You're going to need this Roscato. Uh, Bianco Dolce Sweet White Wine. I had to go to like four different liquor stores to find this. And you're going to need some garlic powder. And then you're going to need a fork and a spoon. So let's get started here with some butter getting heated up on the stove. Let's take one of our butters over here. We'll cut it out a little bit. Start heating up our pot. So we're going to put this at about medium high. Actually, we're going to do about medium with this. What the hell is it burning? Weird, I don't know what that's burning on. Ugh! Something's stuck on there, hang on. There we go. Try this now. There, now it's not burning no more. Let's put this on this. This mine's really hot, I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Alright, there, should be good. Now we want to put this butter into three or four chunks. So don't be scared to use your hands. You're going to use the whole thing of butter. If I can get the damn thing open. So let's do one chunk. Oh, We'll do three chunks just like this. Actually, we want to turn it down a little bit more. We don't want to go too fast on it. I think right there should be good. We're gonna use our fork to stir it around here. We wanna get this butter nice and melted. Turn it up just a tiny bit more. I think that's just slightly too low right there. Now for this, I got myself a five quart uh, Dutch oven, the cheapo ones. So this was like $11 to get. So get one of those and this should be perfect for you. All right, well, let's melt and let's get our snow crab open. Now the uh, tricky people tried to get me, so I had to get this from Walmart. Uh, I was gonna get it from our grocery store, but they had it in those like bake tins, which is fine, but they had potatoes and carrots or uh, potatoes and corn inside of it. Which really sucks because it's a little, a little hot. Which really sucks because they were doing the weight of like twelve to thirteen dollars per pound for the crab, but half the weight was probably the potatoes and the uh, corn. All right, once your butter's almost melted, I'm gonna get a paper towel to sit there. What we want to do is add a little bit of garlic powder to this. So I'm going to take a nice two ounce container and I'm just going to add it in. And add quite a bit in here. There, that should be good. Stir it around with our fork. Try not to burn this. It's already getting a little burnage, but that's all right. I'm not too hot either, so I'm surprised. I'm trying to stir this with a fork is not working out for me. All right, once we got that stirred in, we want to add in our whole thing of Bud Light Platinum. Start turning this up a little bit. There we go, stir this in just a little bit. And what we wanna do is we wanna add in our snow crab. Just get it in the 
pot as best as you can. Now, what, you can see that this is nice and orange. What we want to do with these snow crab legs is we want to cook them until they're redder than Satan's dick. I don't, I've never seen Satan's dick before, so I have no idea how red that is, but uh, we're just gonna trust and believe Cobes on that. Put this last piece in. All right, once that's all in, we're gonna get some of this riscato, and we're gonna pour a majority of this in here. Gonna get, gotta get something to get a good grip on this. There we go. Now we gotta save a little bit of this. So we're gonna do about three quarters of this. All right, we wanna save this a little bit cause we're gonna have some. Mm. That's not bad, sweet white. And then what else do we need? We need half of this of this real lemon juice I'm to turn this up a little bit so we get it boiling and then we're gonna need some of this distilled water we don't need too much of it there yeah, that should be good And we'll stir it around real quick with our fork. Now, Cobes probably had a smaller pot than this. I'm surprised this four quart is uh, too much. But he had his liquid almost all the way to the top. But I don't think I need that much. Because I used quite a bit already. I used about as much as he did. I don't think he used that much distilled uh, water to fill it up. But we're going to leave it like this for now. And we got one more thing we got to do. To make sure that the uh, crab stays down while it's sizzling, we're gonna put one of these spoon objects on top of it. So it's the same consistency as this fork. So it should hold it down in there. And then we're just gonna let that boil for a little while and we'll keep checking it. Like I said, we want this to be redder than Satan's dick. I decided that I'm going to pour some more of the purified water in here. So we'll go real heavy with that. And then we'll give this another quick stir. Now to make sure it cooks, oops, get my, uh oh, spoon's gone. Where'd it go? God damn it. I lost the spoon trying to find it within this mixture. I legit have no idea where that spoon went. This is gonna bother me. Yeah, whatever. We'll just put in another spoon. Won't hurt nothing. There we go. And we'll put a little bit more garlic powder in this because he adds some extra. I'm gonna take the spoon out real quick so I can uh God damn it, did I lose it? No. There we go. Let that boil for a little while, and then we're gonna add some more Bud Light Platinum to it once it starts boiling good. All right, so we're finally starting to come to a boil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a timer for about 20 minutes. We're gonna let the water go down about an inch or so. We're gonna add a little bit more of our Bud Light Platinum to this. And then we're gonna cook it for at least three or four hours until most of the alcohol and the water and the butter mixture is burned out of this. All right, I have to keep taking my uh, hat thing off so I hope I'm getting a good view of this still but it's been boiling for about 20 minutes or so I had to maneuver the spoon around a little bit make sure the crab meat would stay down so I'm gonna try and maneuver it one more time it's a little hot push it right on top of there now we have to add about half a thing more of this Bud Light Platinum And I'm trying to sip on some of this too. I think I went a little happy. I went a little over a half, but that should be all right. We get that nice and bubbly. Now I'm gonna 
be check in progress every about half hour or so while we boil this. So what the end result is supposed to look like is we're supposed to have very, very little liquid left over in this. So I'm just gonna let it go for a while. Oh, before I forget, the smell of the white wine and the lemon juice, it's actually a really good combo, especially with the smell of the crab too. It's been, like I said, it's been cooking for over 20 minutes now, but the smell is actually really, really nice. I think Cobes has a decent idea. I'm gonna do another recipe once this gets closer to finishing, and I have some thoughts on from that recipe with regards to this. All right, it's been about 29 minutes. I had another minute on the clock left, but I decided to uh, check it out. So we're definitely getting our water down, our uh, mixture, I shouldn't call it just water, but our alcoholic drink combo, uh, marinade with the garlic dipping stuff, the garlic butter and all the beer and wine. But you can see we started up here and now we're down, oh Christ, we're down like halfway within a half an hour. So I expect this to take probably three hours altogether. So I'm like I said, I'm gonna keep doing uh, more half hours. All right, it's been another 29 minutes. You can see that our juice is way down now. I can see my spoon again. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and give this a little stir because now the crab legs and stuff aren't actually, there's hardly any space left. You can see I'm touching the bottom here. You can see it just comes up to the top of the spoon. So some of this ain't uh, boiling no more. So we're gonna try and put meat and stuff down a little bit more and we'll move the spoon just a little bit here. Ooh, come on, can I get can I get it on top of these at least? No, the spoon's not heavy enough for this, sadly. I can grab it. There we go. I'll just put that back on top here and we'll squish it down. We'll probably have another, I don't know, it's looking like I got another half hour or so on this. So I really want that juice to go down. So it's been another half an hour or so. You can see that my uh, crab meat's getting really red. Let's see how much liquid do I have left in here. Not very much, it's like halfway below the fork again. You can see it's boiling really heavy, but there's not really that much liquid left there. So that's a little bit better of a view if you can see it, uh, but not much. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna give this another 20 minutes, but I'm gonna start on the next recipe. So for the next recipe, we're gonna do the Townsend stewed crab recipe. So you're gonna need a bunch of things for it. You're gonna need uh, breadcrumbs, which I got some breadcrumbs on the plate. You need some black pepper, which I got it here. Ground nutmeg, obviously, because this is a Townsend's recipe. We always use Pennsylvania Dutch ground nutmeg. Uh, you're gonna need an egg yolk, which I got here. Now I got uh, crab claw meat in a can. Uh, the lump crab was like $30, this was $20 for a pound. Probably use about half of this, not all of it. You're gonna need some uh, white wine. So for this, I uh, got the Elmo Pio Moscato. So the reason I got this was I was originally gonna use this with Cobes' recipe over there. But then I thought, I'm not a recipe pirate, and I had to go to four other liquor stores to find his uh, other crap there that I already threw out. So. Uh, I got half a cup of that, and I'm going to take a sniff and a sip of this. Wow, this is really nice, actually. Smooth, bubbly still. Great. You're going to need some anchovies. We're only going to use one anchovy. We're going to mince that up, so I'm going to do that right now. So let me get one of these out. Now, I haven't had anchovies in a long time, so I actually don't remember how they taste, but I remember not liking anchovies to save my life. Let's mince this. I'm just gonna kinda cut it in a little small chunks here. Do the best that we can with it. Maybe I'll have a little taste of it prior, but I don't know, like I said, I'm not a big anchovy fan. I love fish, but a little piece of this. I probably won't like it. Actually, a little tiny piece. It's not as bad as I remember it being. It's actually pretty good. Definitely salty. I don't know if I could eat a whole piece of this anymore. Yeah, I can. Very slowly, though. So I'll even mince this up. Put it in there. Woo! 
Ah, nice and salty. So let me open up my crab claw. So we need to use the big can opener. I haven't got to use this in quite a while, so. There we go, slam this down. Open this bad boy up. We'll get half of this out. Oh yeah, this looks and smells pretty good. It's not the lump crab. Uh, it's just the claw meat, but it should be fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the egg, we're gonna start Put it in here and we're gonna put in our wine with it and we're gonna start stirring this up together because the idea is what we don't want to do right now is we don't want to start making an omelet that's at least how Townsend's did it there are some comments that say maybe they should have made it like an omelet instead but uh, we're gonna beat all this up together we're gonna keep it off the fire which they call for a charcoal fire but I have propane and we all know that I want to taste the meat, not the heat. So we're going to cook with propane instead of charcoal. Because charcoals and butane are bastard gases. Is that a piece of eggshell or is that just me? Nope, it's just me. So we'll whisk this around. I'm going to add in our black pepper and the breadcrumbs. Because we want it to get a little thick with the breadcrumbs. Whisk this in really good. We'll put some of this on the plate here in a minute. As soon as I can whisk this in really good. Probably could have even used a little smaller pan, but we'll put in our anchovies. Whisk this in. And he uses a fresh nutmeg, but I don't have fresh nutmeg, so I'm gonna just use a little bit of ground nutmeg. So if you have a fresh nutmeg, he was going to town on it, he wanna use half the damn thing, cause he's in the pocket of big nutmeg, but I'm just gonna use a nice shake here. That mixture with the white wine actually smells pretty good. Now, uh, while I'm mixing this, so one of the big things that I really liked about doing these recipes together, especially Cobes' recipe over there, is because from Townsend's I learned back in the day, before refrigeration, that uh, crab and seafood were generally meant for poorer people. They would fish the docks and fish outside of it. They'd bring it back and they'd have all this wasted seafood because they had no way of storing it. So a common place would be the poorer folk would be eating this seafood and they would do it in this mixture and there's a famous there's a story i guess of uh prisoners getting served crab meat this recipe or something similar to this anyway and after three days of it they told their uh captors no more because it's literally like a crime against humanity i guess for them back in the day but seeing how Cobes is a king uh he knew that once seafood started to get into the uh bastard areas of the country like Casper, Wyoming, where they don't have much seafood and were able to refrigerate it, that kings would be able to take over the dominance of seafood like today, how lobster and crab are considered commonplace. So we're gonna do a good half of this crab meat. Like I said, I probably could have got lump crab meat instead of the crab claw, but we'll work with what we got. So we'll just dump this right on here. And we kind of want to stew this a little bit. We get a spatula. So we want to get all this goodness out of here. Honestly, my favorite part about tonight so far is the smells. Cooking with white wine is always fun. Especially when I made Jack's French onion soup way back in the day and he used uh, white wine with that and I think I used the yellowtail back in the day with it. Let me get this going and probably by the time you can see I'm really low on that now so by the time this is done that should also be done so let's get a little fire going. We're just gonna go low and slow on this, stew this together and call it. Now I don't have a wooden spoon here for the top of this, so what I'm going to use is probably one of these. 
I wanted to mix it in a little bit. I'm going to call it on Cove's recipe. We're going to turn that right off. I think that should be good. And then basically we just want to cook out the liquor from this, let it thicken up, and we should be good to go on this stuff here. Ooh, look at this bad boy. You can see it's thickening it up. Thickening it up really good. Thickening it up, not thickening it up. Now, at the end of the video, for people who are uh, skippers, I'm going to troll my users. Uh, I'm going to pretend like I never ate this, but I really, really wanted to make this because I got really, really upset that he let this sit out for a day and there was no face boomer stream of him eating this. But this is our uh, King Cobra crab and this is our Townsend's crab right here. I got the finest of China ready to go for this. You can see my hair's all fucked up from the... Uh, the headset here but i learned a trick of how to crack these crab legs from josh weisman so i want to try this out on cobra's uh legs so let me try and put the camera down here i guess i'm gonna do like a a cobra angle i'll even try and get try and get it like this you can see me in the back so i'm gonna take one of these can you see it yeah here we go I'm gonna crack the leg back and forth. Now, and I'm gonna crack this one right off of here. Now I was told the guaranteed way to get this off is if you beat your hand against the end of uh, your other hand, it should just pop right out. So I'm gonna try that here. Let me see if I can get a good camera angle. My hands are, I don't think it's gonna come out very well. So I might have to get some scissors and crack the shell. There's a little bit of meat in there. Let's see if I can oop, see if I can get it. No, I'm gonna have to get some scissors and crack the shells open. Oh, beautiful! Look at look at this. Look at this meat. Oh my god, the meat's like brown as shit. It feels really mushy. My hands are covered in the butter, fucking beer mixture, and it's super sticky. But I was able to get some of this crab meat out. So let me uh. Put a paper towel over my hands. Let's see if I can get an actual view, better view of this. Let me click. There we go. Now I can see a little bit better. Sorry, I'll move the paper towel out of the way. Got a little pain in the ass. All right, so I did end up getting a little bit. It does crack pretty easy, at least. So that's always good. Good news. Here's a little bit of uh, claw meat in my hands too. But I'll give, um, I'll give this piece a little try. That's horrid. It's, uh, it's like mush in your mouth and just the, the taste of it's just not right. I did save some of the juice. I was going to make a drink combo out of, but this is fucking nasty. No wonder he didn't fucking eat any of this on stream. Let me see if I can't. Get a little more meat out of one of these here. Let's see if I can pull a little bit of this. Try it again. Ugh. Oh, this is rank. This is absolutely rank. I <laughs> I think it's really funny, but it's um uh, it's just mush, it, the color's off. It's just gross. It's This crab died for nothing, poor thing. The meat's not even white, but I guess the plus is it's as red as Satan's dick. So, I mean, you got what you wanted. But if this crab was still alive, it'd probably want to grip me to death. But let me go wash my hands real quick, and then I'll try that. All right, I'm back. I cleaned my hands up. Maybe if I let this sit out overnight, it'll be better. Just kidding. No, it won't. But that's uh, that's pretty nasty. But let's try this a little bit. See if I can't get a nice piece of this here. Like I said, it still smells a little bit like a crab cake. It's got like a... A bitter taste to it when you eat it the crab's pretty chewy I mean which is great Just the crab don't taste too bad but that nutmeg 
is what's killing this recipe. It's fucking awful, too. Ugh. Yeah, that, that nutmeg destroyed this. I think without the nutmeg, it probably would have been just like bland whatever. Mm. Sorry, I dropped a piece. The consistency is, it's smooth like, uh, like smoother than eating like uh, oatmeal. But it just, it, it's like a slurry kind of it. It don't taste that good. It don't taste right. And I think the, I think the taste is bad because of the nutmeg. I, I think if it just had a fuck ton more salt, I put too much black pepper in it, I could taste that there. But just cut out the nutmeg, put some salt in there, and I think it would be fine. Maybe some lemon juice and stuff, but... If you did sort of like a mixture that you did with this and didn't boil the shit out of it, it'd probably be fine. But these are both gross. I would highly recommend neither of these. Post, uh, this is like the really big open part. It's supposed to just go fucking like this and it's supposed to just come out. Tap or like hard. this. It, it ain't works come every out. single so it's time. It's not 100% more working, ruining me. bud. No, you, enjoy you lied to me. Oh God, my hands. All right, while that's still cooking, what I'm gonna do with Cobes' stuff is I'm gonna put the crab legs on a plate. Get the spoon out of there first. Could probably grab that with my hands. I'm not usually skeered. Don't worry, we're gonna transfer all this meat over to a, uh, a fresh paper plate. Oh, there, there went my other spoon. I've been looking for that. Take this right to there. Okay, we're going to keep that right there for right now. I think this should be ready to... Yeah, this should be good. I don't want it to stick to the pan too much. We're gonna put it in the finest of China, a Cool Whip container. So I don't remember where my uh, small ones are. This smells kind of like, ah, um, oh shit, like a crab cake in a sense, with the white wine popping out. It kind of even looks like a crab cake a little bit, too. Get that in there. Put these back. And then I got some sludge on the bottom, which I know just what to do with that. We're gonna take the sludge. Oh, yeah, some extra sludge. Let's put it right on the plate here. And I think we're good to go. All right, so here's my beautiful concoctions. I got the King Cobra Dank Crab Legs here, and I got the Townsend's Crab here. Uh, now, I'm not very hungry. I just had some Taco John's pizza, so thanks for watching.